Hey guys, it's Lily, and in this video I will be showing you some of my art from elementary school, and it goes all the way up to fifth grade. And so this is the oldest drawing I could find. Um, I think I drew this when I was about five in like 2001, and there's this show on Foxbox called Fighting Foodons, and I think they're having a contest where you design your own fighting food on, and I did a watermelon man, and uh, it says Wotermelon. Yeah, I had issues spelling as a kid, and you'll see a lot of mistakes in these books, it's pretty funny. But I like this guy a lot, and maybe I should like redraw him or something, that'd be kind of funny. So this is my first sketchbook, I guess you could call it, and it's actually just a line notebook. And um, this one's from fourth grade, and at the time I was really into like Winx Club and Mew Mew Power and Magical Doremi, all of those shows on Fox Box, and so a lot of them are kind of influenced by that. I drew a lot of fairies and mermaids and things like that. So this is the first one and it's a flower fairy. Here, let me zoom in. Oops. And then there's a pixie, again with the misspelling. Mermaid, a unicorn, a sun fairy, fire fairy, and I like to do this with the uh, the titles a lot. I like to try to make them kind of creative with how the fairies were, or like mermaids or whatever. There's an ice fairy, and she's on a mountaintop. A wind fairy. And here's a bunch of pets. They're kind of funny. I don't know really who would have a sheep as a pet. I mean like, you could, but I feel like that that's kind of just an odd thing to draw as a pet. <laughs> it's a surfer fairy. I really went all out on this one. And you can see like, I kind of drew a face here and then erased it because I guess I don't want a face on the cloud, just on, just on the sun. And so yeah, here's like a pirate ship, and then there's some dolphins, and a bird, and a mermaid. There's a Chinese fairy. It's not probably not accurate. I also like Sagwa back then too. So like things like that I was really interested in. The dark fairy, she's kind of spooky. Oh, and of course you have to have a light fairy if you have a dark fairy. Little fairy, rainbow fairy, sunset fairy. I never finished her. That's like a bad habit I had. I would like draw something and then never finish it. Princess of the fairies. And it's obviously misspelled. Just a flower. And a scene of some stuff put a face on that cloud though. Mushroom fairy. There's Pegu. This was from a, a book about a hermit crab that I really loved as a kid. This one's kind of scary. I drew my American Girl doll and it's like really freaky. And then I, I copied Ariel. Here's another fairy and she's holding a dog. Here's just a bunch of different stuff. Oh, Ebola. I think that's from Neopets, like a pet pet or something. And like a heart with a face. And then a star with a face, and he has shoes too. Pretty cool. And there's some crazy dog. He's kind of like Picasso or something. And that's it. All right, and I was really big into Lisa Frank too. Like everyone was back then. It's pretty cool. So here's another fairy and she's like on a beach. Another mermaid. And a princess. Oh, and this is when my art style got kind of weird. I started doing these small eyes and I don't know. I like drew a bunch of different eyes and an ice cream and a scary looking bird. And I don't know why I thought this was a good idea to do faces like that, but I guess it's just like 
evolution of art style. You have to, sometimes I guess you have to get worse to get better. <laughs> and this one's not too bad. This um, mermaid down here, she actually looks pretty cool. All right, and then I drew a dragon. And then Kiko, I got one of these little toys from a Happy Meal, and that's a Neopet too. And I drew that from life, and I actually think I did a pretty good job. Some car. This fairy, she looks a little bit older. I think it's because the eyes are smaller. Creepy cat. She looks really similar to the last one. It's kind of weird. And that's the end of this one. And then here's my third one. Yeah, and so my art style changed a lot here. It, I definitely got more proportional. And so like, the bodies are actually starting to look like bodies and like, I guess not like chibis, they're starting to look like people. Might have to zoom out a bit. There we go. Yeah, so this is more like Mew Mew power probably. Or Tokyo Mew Mew, I guess it's called. This one's not too bad. I think this is fifth grade, by the way. You're an angel girl. And then a red-headed girl. I like her hair. Oh, she's pretty cool. She's got that scene hair. Oh, and then this is bad. And you're like... I guess an aurora borealis and a girl like pointing at a shooting star. Didn't even finish the grass. A flower. And happy Halloween. This girl's name's Cassandra. Here, I'll zoom in. A pig. Oh, and like some like My Little Pony thing, probably. And that girl, no hands. Oh, and Bongo, I made him up. He's like a little dinosaur with like angel wings. He's pretty cute. So here's my next one. It's Leo the Lion. Very original with names. Pisces the Fish. I think I was attempting to go through all the Zodiac, but then I didn't because then I drew Spongebob and Gary. And that's actually pretty good, honestly. Well, I don't know. For a fifth grader, I guess that's kind of average, but I don't know. Plankton. Probably didn't spell that right. Happy Pants. That's what I named this one. Then Herman. I got this little squishy bug thing out of like a vending machine, and he was like my little pet that I would keep in my desk at school. This girl's pretty cool. She's like wearing a kimono and she's like watching the cherry blossoms. Oh, I went to a school and the initials were LAM. It was a Lutheran school. And so we had to wear uniforms and go to like chapel every Thursday and stuff. And it was pretty cute, all, all the little uniforms and stuff. I think, I think I still might even have mine, but I'm not sure. Oh, and this is like some weird little poetry thing I was trying out. Little kid mermaid. It says, smile sweetly. Oh, and this is from a stuffed animal. Um, I think it was, uh, you know how you can donate money to like the veterans and then you get a poppy? They were doing, I think my, my brother, he won a contest, or like he wrote a paper for the veterans contest or something. And then he won a panda and it's a poppy panda and he gave it to me. So then I drew it and I actually got the perspective down pretty good for being in like fifth grade. That's kind of crazy. And then baby princess peach. And this girl named her California. Cause I guess she's glamorous. I guess everybody in, in California is glamorous, you know, Growing up in North Idaho, I kind of thought that. <laughs> a bubble dream. That's what I named this one. It's a fairy on a bubble. Oh, and then there's 
um, Bloom from Winx Club. I copied her from a picture. Oh, and then Kai Kai. I think this was in a Magical Dore Me when, oh gosh, Dory, her little sister, finds out that they're witches, so then she has to become a witch. But I'm pretty sure the, the show got cancelled, like, either before she became a witch or, like, shortly after. And I think this was her little fairy spirit, I don't remember what they're called. A girl looking at a turtle. Bongo again, he's pretty cute. I like him, I should draw him again. And that one's, it's getting better, honestly. Of oh, the legendary Banana Ninja Warrior. It's a, it's a joke. Like, so my dad was cutting wood for a wood fireplace and like a cross section looked like a smiley face. So then my brother held it up to his head and was like, I'm the legendary Banana Ninja Warrior and was like holding a banana or something. And then stretchy pants like Nacho Libre. And I drew Chicken of the Sea. And those are some scribble doodles. An erased eye. I think that was a drawing of our dog Cooney. She was a Pekingese. And yeah. And then a fish with some markers. I think that might be it in this. Oh, there's a little bit more scribble. Some math I saw. Rainbow. Yeah, and that's basically it for this one. And I just found these little doodle guys hanging out in my folder. So it's like, I think this, I think this was fifth grade also because I don't think I could have drawn like the body of this bear quite well enough as if I was in fourth grade. So yeah like a surfing alligator and a, a bear and he's sunbathing and then I drew a dog in some snow clothes building a snowman and then like a cat girl and a bunny girl and they're like friends, I guess, walking down the sidewalk. And a bird and she's doing ballet. Cat. And then like a baby duck. I feel like I copied this from something. I'm sure I did. I cannot think of it right now, but it's probably like a sticker or something. But yeah, it looks familiar. All right. So those were all my drawings from, that I could find from elementary school. And the next video, I'll probably have um, all my drawings between sixth and eighth grade that I can find. I know I lost one of my folders at school with like most of my drawings in it and it's really sad. But I have like uh, so many more that I could show you. All right, and I hope you enjoyed this video and thanks so much for watching. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.